The Coriolis effect is an inertial force described by the 19th century French engineer mathematician Gustave Gaspard Coriolis in 1835. He discovered that we must consider the Earth's rotation when using physics equations. This effect means that in a rotating coordinate system, although an object remains on its same path, it will appear to deviate from that original path. It is similar to the third person view of a ball being dropped from a moving car. The ball will appear to make a curved fall as opposed to the linear one it actually takes. To demonstrate this, we went to a park. Good thing one of the rules wasn't no physics. Rolling the ball on a stationary merry-go-round shows that it has a straight path. However, if the merry-go-round is spinning, the ball appears to take a curved path across the merry-go-round. Similarly, when a ball is thrown across a stationary merry-go-round, it has a straight path. But if the merry-go-round is moving, the ball again appears to take a curved path across. If you look at the same situation from a third person view, nothing seems out of the ordinary. The rolling ball will appear to be going straight. and the thrown ball appears to go straight as well. The Coriolis effect has significant impacts on airplanes and missiles set to reach specific far away destinations. These objects are most effective because they deal with the Earth's rotation for longer flight times than thrown objects such as a football. In the northern hemisphere objects appear to curve to the right, while in the southern, objects appear to curve to the left. This diagram sums it up rather nicely. As shown, if the Earth's angular velocity and latitude were not applied to the object's trajectory, it would miss the target by a large amount. 